So I guess my question for you would be, if I was a regular cisgender human being who didn't know a lot about trans people, was curious, you know, met somebody who I knew was trans or transitioning, like, should I not ask questions? And I, I know it's different for everybody, but what's like the best, what's the best way to just be respectful of your journey? I think just treat people like humans, you know? Mm-hmm. Like if you're like, how was your day? Oh, did you travel in? How was the flight? Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, you went to that restaurant? I like that restaurant. I don't like it. What do I like? What do you like? You know? Oh, you don't like that? I kind of like that. You know what I mean? Like people just talk to each other. Like, oh, you're good at a thing? Cool. I want to learn about that thing. Or you can help with a thing? I know about that thing. You know, like people, that level of conversation should come first before mm-hmm. um, what's going on with your genitals? Like what? <laughs> like just think about, I think the menopause yeah. thing's a great example. Because I yeah. don't, I don't go around asking women, like, "Are you glad you're not going to have periods anymore? What's that like?" I don't have a vagina, so I don't know what that's like. Like, what is it like? Can you tell me about menstrual menstrual cramps. I don't understand. Like, what's that like? Mm-hmm. Like, it just it's weird. You know, mm-hmm. it's a weird way to like talk to people. Um, and then when you get along with someone better and they open up more, shit comes up in conversation. You know, right. but if I really want to learn about like that other genders that I can't experience because I don't have those parts, the, the internet's really cool for that. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> I could just look shit yeah. up. I mean, it's like yeah. not that hard to like Google yeah. and go on Reddit. You know, it's good. There's a lot of screaming neckbeards on Reddit, but there's a lot of good information on that. You know what I mean? Is there a good subreddit that people should? consider visiting that you'd recommend um you know it's uh i think translator is what it's called i think that's okay. the one it's people it's trans people sharing their before and after pictures but mm-hmm. what you get is people in the comments ask it like holy shit how'd you get your hips to do that you know what i mean so you get kind of all the infos in there somewhere in the comments mm-hmm. you know like well, do you mind if I ask who's your doctor? Like, how'd you do that? Are you on Spiral? What are you doing? You know, and people, mm-hmm. I learned kind of almost, I at least learned what else I needed to learn there, you know, in that right. subreddit. Like that was like a great starting place to like get, peel back, open the hood and be like, okay, what are we looking at here? You know what I mean? And then later get more specific. But, and then at the other sense, you got to ask yourself like the, Dudes that are on set with you that you hire or whatever, how much do they really need to know about menopause? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, do they really need to know? Yeah. Like, if they're asking you about that, like, would you be like, why are we talking about this? Like, what? Because you're never going to go through this. You know what I mean? Like, why? It's cool you're curious, yeah. but what do we? Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of that that needs to be like, I think the world needs to kind of look at like, Hey, maybe, you know, cause it's yeah, not, it's the know. whole, like, I don't want to be a circus freak and neuter than the other. Trend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I, I, I kind of asked that question cause I have a friend, somebody that I work with that is like, you know, kind of knew nothing about, uh, trans people until they started working with me because, you know, I interview people on my podcast and now I'm going to be working with someone, um, next month. And, And she's always wanting to like ask these questions and like, you know, kind of drill these people. I mean, I've seen her do it with like non-binary people as well. And I'm always just kind of like, you know, maybe don't, you know, like make somebody explain themselves to you. So that's kind of like why I wanted to ask that question because it it felt like something that was invasive and, and could be super annoying. And so I just, I guess I wanted to hear it from the the actual the mouth of somebody going through that that yes what i thought is that is <laughs> a little bit invasive and kind of annoying <laughs> well it's just it's it's not like i mean you know i'm a sex worker i'm a queer sex worker so i'm used to talking mm-hmm. about shit that other people would knock about so i'm not offended i'm not but whatever but mm-hmm. it, it kind of gets my goat that it's the norm to treat trans mm-hmm. people like like it's a serious pro- and it's not just like a socially awkward thing i mean people try to kill us you know, yeah. like we literally, when I leave the house, I have to bring a gun. 
because, and when I go to California, I'm more scared because I don't have my gun on. And if you're going to carry a gun, you have to get training. So I had to, I'm a person that gets shit done. So I had to go train with special forces types and like learn how to get good at shooting. And otherwise I don't want to like draw a gun and spaz out and like shoot myself in the foot. Right. I got to like right. Jason Bourne that shit and like drop three people, bah, 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 you know what I mean? Like I, <laughs> Which you can learn in like three months. It's not. It's not like yeah. learning jujitsu where it takes ten years. Like you put in, do some drills, do some training. You get pretty fucking good. But yeah, there's people try, like litter. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but we got restraining orders out there. You know what I mean? There's people coming trying to kidnap us. You know what I mean? Like it's mm-hmm. fucking problem. You know what I mean? Um, because I'm different. I'm not. So quite do you feel? Human. Yeah, I was going to so, say, do you feel unsafe in a way that you didn't feel as a cisgender man? Because I was kind of trying to explain this to my husband, you know, after we watched this particularly disturbing movie about mm-hmm. what it's like just to be a woman and know that, like, you're kind of always in danger. Well, you there's know? that um, aggression. Like, if I go to CVS or Walgreens or some shit, um, if I were dressed like this, some people are going to look. You know, they mm-hmm. see short skirt, pantyhose, tits, whoa, you know. So I'm dealing with that. I'm, I'm trying to be empathetic with my wife, who I love very much. I've had some glimpse of, like, she does not go to the grocery store, period. She Instacarts everything. And the reason is the grocery store is terrifying for her because, at best, some dude's going to walk up to her and say, nice tattoos. Wow, where'd you get this? What's going on? Uh, you know what I mean? Or some lady, but normally some dude. And it's scary because she cannot overpower that person. She Mm. has zero, zero chance if that person gets their hands on her of Mm. winning that fight. Short of, I mean, she carries a gun too, so I mean, she'll probably fucking shoot him. But like, short of that, that's terrifying. So now with the, that's the thing with the hormone change too. I'm physically weaker. Like, um... A 50 pound suitcase, I used to be able to pick up with one arm and just throw in the back of my truck. No biggie. Now I got to like get ready, brace myself to my hips and do it, you know, lift with my legs, yeah. move it in there. So it's scarier. Um, you know, uh, I'm not, yeah, like I don't want to get too deep into it, but we were physically threatened very much. And, uh, and it was scarier to me because I wasn't a 185 pound dude who's used to going to the gym and picking up 100 pound dumbbells and just chest pressing them like it's nothing and drop it like i was this not always the strongest guy in the gym but pretty normally pretty close to like the biggest monster in there you know like on compared to average people so if there was a physically threatening situation gun or no gun i knew i could at least throw this person on the ground or at least grab them and my wrist power could squeeze and hurt them you know what i mean like it's had power I had so much power and now I don't have that raw physical power. So I have to bob and weave and gun, knife, fucking pepper spray, flashlight, be ready to draw. Like, you know I mean? It's just a different game. It's way scary. Yeah. And well, I'm and white. Also, too. I'm white. Imagine if yeah. I was, God bless black trans women. They, they get murdered yeah. all the fucking time and no one cares. They don't even call the cops. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's, it's, it's awful. It's, way Um, awful like so yeah that's scarier you know for sure yeah yeah there's a thing because we're not quite female we're not quite male so mm -hmm. i think that's the where the threat comes in we're like well it's not really human so i can walk up to them and just grab their crotch you know or i can walk up to them and just start asking about their genitals you know what i mean right like because they're not really this or not really that somehow not human i can get away with you know, and that's yeah. scary. It's bullshit. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.